Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hi again. So this is my channel. I love doing all kinds of DIYs on a budget. I love Dollar Tree DIYs. I also love to do thrift flips and I also absolutely love to make wreaths. So if you like what you see here, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. I would love to have you part of our little community. And also, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment because I love to hear what you guys think. So I'm also on Instagram and Pinterest. So you can follow me on there as well. Always posting new things. I also have a wreath shop. It's called Chris's Wreath Designs. It's an Etsy shop and that link will be down below. Today is all about Meet Me in Paris. So it's all about Paris French country decor. And our host is Monarch's Market. And our co-host is Indy Annie Jones. So let's get on with our first DIY. So the first DIY that I'm going to be doing for you today is actually a thrift flip. <laughs> so I'm taking some of this water slide paper. I've had this for a while. And I really like using it. This is a box that I got at the um, thrift store for $2.99, you guys. Isn't it pretty? I love it. And I'm going to use some of these floral picks that I've had. And I'm also um, printed out that. And I will leave you um, down below where I got these printouts. Because there's a, quite a few of them in this um, video. And they're all Paris related or French country so I will have it down below. It's fairy, fairy something. I can't remember you guys, but I will have it linked down below. Sorry. So what I'm doing now is you have to spray these water slide papers with clear enamel spray. Okay. And let it dry. And then you stick it in the water after you cut out, you know, the image that you want. And that kind of rolls up. You leave it in there for like 30 seconds. I'm going to leave you a link to this water slide decal paper that I'm using down below as well. So you could take a look at it. I absolutely love using it. I've used it quite a few times now. Now what I'm doing now is I'm using some plaster paint by Waverly. And I am going to paint this because it's not quite the color that I was going for. So I wanted it to look really rustic, farmhouse, shabby chic. So um, I'm just dry. I'm not really a heavy dry brush, I guess you would call it. Um, and then I'm going in with some antique wax, wax by Waverly. And I'm going to dry brush, like really just dry brush, you guys. I didn't do a lot. I didn't do heavy like I did with the plaster. And I just want this to look really, really old. That's what I'm going for, okay? Um, so I did put some painter's tape around where the metal parts are on this um, because I didn't want to get those paint on there. I liked the way it looks because it looked aged. I did go over this again with some more plaster paint because I did go a little heavy in some spots, but that's the beauty of doing this. You can just keep going over and over until you get that look that you're looking for. And when I once I got to that look, I just stopped. So it's just really easy to do, you guys. And the best thing is just to make sure that you uh, make sure everything's dry before you go putting another, um, a little bit more paint on of the other color. So I just kept going back and forth between the plaster and the antique wax. Now I'm taking it off of that water slide paper. The problem was is that I left it on, I left it dry out too long. I should have put it on right away, but I forgot. And so I had to spray some water down and that helped to adhere it to the, um, now this stuff is really easy to work with. It doesn't rip, so which is really cool if you're really gentle with it. Now the next one I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be putting some of this um, floral foam inside this. Now this looks like, um, I don't know what would have been in here, like bottles maybe of champagne or wine, I don't know, but, um, I'm using it to put florals in. So I put some of that craft foam, craft foam, um, flower foam in there, floral foam. And now I'm using these two picks that I got from Walmart. I believe they were $5 each. And I just stuck them in there, you guys. And look at how beautiful this is. 
I am absolutely obsessed and in love with this. I can change the um, florals out if I want. I just love it, you guys. You got to let me know what you think. So today is about Meet Me in Paris. There is going to be a playlist as well as um, the host and co-host links down below. So please go check everyone out and show them some love, guys. These are all going to be Paris home, French, farm charm, chic, anything like that. So now what I'm doing is I did another water slide paper and I'm going to use these birds and um, that I printed out in black and white and I'm going to use this old looking envelope that was from Valentine's Day and I am going to paint this with my Waverly plaster chalk paint as well and I just give this a couple coats and then once that is all painted, I did do the front and the back. I love to keep everything finished. I don't know. It would have bothered me if I didn't do the back. That's just, but that's just me. You guys don't have to. But I did. So then what I did is um, I took some of the antique wax once again and my little chippy brush. And I'm just going to dry brush this as well. So at first, I'm just going around the edges. I want this envelope to look old, aged, like it's been sitting around for a very long time. And that's the way I want it to look because <laughs> I love that old um, rustic look, I guess you could say. And I went around the edges of the whole thing, front and back. And then once I got all the edges done, I went in and I just like dry brushed very, very lightly with the antique wax as well on the whole thing. But very lightly, like my brush was like really dry. So I didn't want it to be too much, just wanted it a little bit, and I just wanted to make it look really old envelope. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so once I get that all done, and I did do the front and back of this as well, I took a sand, my sand black and I kind of sanded a little bit. I just wanted everything to blend in real well and look nice. And then what I did is I cut around this image like I showed you in the previous one that I did and now this one was not going to fit so I had to figure out how I wanted to cut this and I wanted to take bits and pieces off of this image so what I did is I took the wording off and I put it on the top of the envelope where it's open and then the birds with the um music on it is going to go on the bottom portion and then this little stamp part you know that they stamp the envelope with that's going to go on the corner there so I just kind of made it work and it did and it looked really cool you guys this stuff is so much fun to work with especially if you find the beautiful images like I did and these images are all free, so that's the best part. And if you have a really good printer, you know, like an inkjet printer, this stuff is absolutely amazing. Now it does curl up when you put it in there, but the main thing is remember that you spray it with a clear spray, like spray paint, but it's clear, okay? And it's enamel spray, and that's what makes the set and not bleed when you wet it, when you stick it in the water. And then you just slide the paper right off and I just kind of like do my finger real lightly and you could pat it with a um, dry towel to get the excess water off. And then I came in and did the little stamp next. And you guys, the stuff is amazing. I love it. I've uh, used it in one of my other videos, but um, I decided to use it again because I needed like to look for like Paris, you know, decor pieces and stuff like that. So this stuff came in really handy and it made it look really, really super pretty. So there it is, you guys. So now, of course, I had to come in with some florals. Sorry, I had to take a drink, guys. Um, and I decided to use these picks from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love these picks. I haven't seen them this year, so I'm kind of disappointed. But, um because <laughs> I'm running out because I used them a lot for Easter and I'm probably going to use a lot for the springtime too decor pieces that I make so but there's a little opening in this envelope and it's real small but that's okay because I just wanted to put some small um, floral pieces in here not anything 
big or anything like that because I want to be able to still see the images that I put on my envelope. So I just put in a few pieces and then you're going to see me come in. Um, I have these old metal um, flowers from Tim Holtz. I don't know if you ever heard of him, but he's a real famous um, scrapbooker. He does a lot of junk art. He also does a lot of um, uh, mixed media art and I love watching him and I learn a lot from him, which you'll see in the next video. And yeah, isn't that pretty guys? And so I have a lot, of, I used to scrapbook and I have a ton of stuff. So I decided to take one of these metal flowers and it's antique looking. So I decided to put a little bit of hot glue on it and I put it right where that hole was, where the string was on there. And there it is, you guys. And here's a close up, you guys. I just love the way this turned out. I'm loving these DIYs. So now DIY number three three so now this is where this mixed media art stuff comes in so I took this book from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna redo it okay I'm gonna upcycle it basically so I'm gonna use some of these metal keys that I have some of that um, ribbon you just saw because we're gonna make like a raggy um, like where the where it's like just lace hanging down I don't know what you call it but and then this image which is supposed to be for a book and I got that from the same place, fairy dot, fairygraphics.com. That's what it is, guys. So, guys, this is gesso, okay? And I'm using my little palette knife. And what I'm doing is I am just, it's not gesso, I'm sorry. It's modeling paste. And what I'm doing is I am just, yep, I'm just smudging it on my book. Yep, that's what I'm doing. And, you guys, this gives it texture. And wait till you see what this does, okay? Now, after it dries on the side, I dry it with my heat gun, but you guys can wait for it to dry. This stuff dries pretty quick. And I'll leave a link where you can get this as well online. I get it on um, um, Amazon. And what I'm doing now is I am just doing the edges, okay? Because my image is going to go in the middle, so I'm not too worried about that. And I just want this to look really old. Like it's an old book, like it's been sitting around forever. And I did that on the front and the back. And once that all dried, and I just did it with my palette knife, just like you saw, really simple. And now I'm taking the plaster paint by Waverly, and I am going to paint the book. So now I'm going to paint the front and the back, and I am going to go over the gesso parts you know, because they're dry, so it's okay. You can paint it. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do. And you're going to see, like, what type of texture this gives. It makes the book look altered, basically, and beautiful, gorgeous. I don't even know how to describe it. I've made these before, and I haven't done it in so long, and it was so much fun to make because I used to love doing stuff like this. And then I'm going to dry brush really lightly, like, not a lot at all, okay, okay, and I'm gonna go over those parts that I just that I just so that I put the modeling paste on, and I'm gonna do it on the binder as well, and I'm gonna do it on the back, and I go over those parts a little heavy, but see how you could see those textures that you know from the paste on the book, and it just makes it look so cool, you guys. And I love doing this. I used to love doing this. And I just went really lightly then on the rest of the book. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out that image now. And same thing, I'm going to put it in water. I already did my clear enamel spray on it. I'm going to put it in the water, see how it curls up. You leave it in for like 30 to 60 seconds, you guys. That's all. And then we're going to slide it. And you just push it down a little bit and then you pull the paper out from underneath. And you can see how I could keep lifting it up and playing with it. That's what I love about this stuff. And there you go, you guys. And now I'm going to take all that raggedy ribbon and I'm going to make this rag like um, tassel. Um, it's not going to be a bow. And I'm going to use all these pieces. Now I've had this ribbon like forever. Um, you usually get it in the scrapbooking section as well, this type of ribbon. Um, it comes in rolls like this. And they usually have it. I don't know if they still do because I haven't been in that section in a long time. But, um, yeah, and I just used all these different ones. And we're going to make like a rag, like a raggy, it's going to be rags. It's going to look like rags. 
Yeah, there you go. Not really rags, but you know what I mean. And all I did was tie them together with a little um, elastic um, rubber band. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that little key on, the little key that I showed you guys earlier. And I am going to glue this down to my book in the corner here next to my binder. Okay. And now I'm going to take some of these flowers by um, Paper Studio. And you could get these in the scrapbooking section as well. And what I did, I've had these for a long time too when I scrapbooked. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these little rosebuds down. And I'm going to stick those on the top part where I glued um, that little tassel down of all those little lace lacy ribbons that I made and I'm gonna put one on each side and these all came in a packet together okay this is how they sell them in that area if you've ever been down that aisle I don't know but this is how they sell them um, you could get the whole kit of flowers together and now I'm gonna put like these other little pieces that were in there and I'm gonna stick those on top and I'm gonna glue that down on my little book and look at how beautiful this is, you guys. It's just gorgeous. I love it. And it's perfect for spring on your table. And then I decided to take one of these leaves that were on the inside, and it's just paper. Um, it's just a paper leaf. And all I did was bring it down the side of the binder of my book. And I just put a little bit of glue underneath it just to hold it down. And that's it. Look at that. Oh. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh my God, you guys, I love it. And then I took one of these butterflies that are really pretty that you can also get in that section as well in the craft store at Hobby Lobby. And I stuck a little butterfly in the corner because I just had to do it. And look at that. Guys, this is so gorgeous. Look at it. Ah, I absolutely love it. You guys gotta let me know what you think. So now on to DIY number four. So this one is kind of like I'm doing a whole bunch together, okay? So it's kind of three DIYs in one. So I'm going to use that candle and that that little image that you saw there. I'm going to use this little um, clear box. It's like a drawer from the Dollar Tree. It's plastic. And I'm going to use this little blast. It's going to go on my little tray that I'm going to make. And I'm also going to use this little um, canvas um, and also this... Um, Oh my God, what do you call it? Fabric that's um, got the Eiffel Tower on it. And I'm going to use this old um, picture frame that I got at the thrift store. And it was only $2.99. And that picture frame is gorgeous. You got, I mean, $1.99. Picture frame's gorgeous, guys. And what I'm doing is I'm just cutting around about how much I think I need. And all I did was put the glass down because you'll see in a minute, you can't take the backing off of this um, picture frame it's connected. Okay. So it just folds down. So what I did is I folded it down and that's why I used the glass to kind of trace where I needed to cut my fabric. And now I'm going to use some Mod Podge and I'm just going to make sure I put a really good coat of this on the backing of that um, picture frame. And then I'm going to um, stick down my beautiful, and I got this, um, fabric from Hobby Lobby when it was like, they always have 30% off and that's when I got a piece of it. So there it is. And I'm just going to make sure I get it down really good and there's no bubbles. And then we're going to close this bad boy. So I had to put the picture frame glass in first and I wiped it because my fingerprints were all over it. And then I closed it. And then what I did is I just trimmed off the excess because you're not going to see this because this I'm not using it as a picture frame. I'm using it as a tray, okay, to put stuff on. So I didn't care what the bottom looked like. So there it is. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my God, you guys. I love it. So there is that. Now DIY 5 and I'm going to say 6, okay. This is what we're going to put on top of that tray. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the plastic wrapping off of this little plastic drawer and I'm going to take that canvas that says the Paris perfume on it and I'm just going to use the Paris part of it. So what I did is use my rotary cutter 
And I just figured it was just easier to cut it this way instead of me trying to fight with getting those staples out of the back of this canvas. So I just did that, it was much simpler. And then what I did is I just used my scissors to help cut it because I don't know why it just wasn't cutting right. I think I need a new rotary cutter. And then what I did is I just traced around that perfume, um, that perfume image. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm like so tired. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm going to put that on the top of my drawer. I'm going to put it though facing upwards where like that little piece is sticking up. And then I'm going to take some of these really pretty beads that you get at the Dollar Tree. It's a string of pearls and little gems on it. And I know you guys see them in the sticker section all the time. Sometimes they have them in the floral section too. And then what I did is I just wrapped it around the little knob part, okay? Because I'm going to face this this way. It's going to look like a little perfume bottle, only we're going to put something else in it. And look at how pretty that is. Ugh. And then I decided to... See, that's where my image is going to go. So then I decided to take it, and now I'm going to, and this stuff is really sticky, you guys, so you don't have to worry about glue or anything. And then I took it, and I brought it around the whole bottom part of this as well. So I don't know why I cut it. I could have kept going. But anyway, so then I kept going around. Then I figured, oh, yeah, okay, I can go around the whole thing. Duh. And... <laughs> And then I just cut it when I got to the end and made sure it looked all nice and cohesive and went together. And then what I did is I put Mod Podge down on the on this plastic and I shouldn't have did that. I don't know why I did. But anyways, I'm like, wait a minute. This isn't going to stick right. So then I remembered, oh yeah, I should put the Mod Podge on the back of the canvas. And that's what I did. So I just took it and I uh, put a little mop hodge down and I used my little sponge and just spread it around and then I put it on top like so. And there is my little Paris bejeweled box. That is so cute. And it looks like a little perfume box, but what I did is I took these pearls that I had and I put them inside because I thought they were pretty inside there and then the drawer won't go back in and there you go it went back in and there it is you guys so that's gonna go on top of the tray so now this one is just a candle I showed you it's just one of those short little candles you could get at the Dollar Tree and it's battery operated and I took a little image again this is a smaller image of the book one that we use I made it smaller and printed it out on my printer and now we're gonna put that on the candle and make it look really pretty like it's got a flower image on there so shabby chic and here it is on top of the um tray and here it is with the candle all lit up you guys i love it you gotta let me know what you think i hope you guys liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check everyone out the playlist and the host and co-host uh links are all down below Thanks for watching. Stay crafty. Bye.